What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. So the day has come, the new Aura Ring 3 is finally here. So I've had my Aura Ring since 2019 and I've talked extensively about it on my channel for the past three years. And I feel like we've been waiting forever for a new generation to come out. So now that it's finally here, was it actually worth the wait? And better yet, should you pre-order? I'll stick around as I share all of the biggest updates you can expect from this 3.0 version ring. And of course, I'll give you my honest thoughts on if it's worth the money and a new subscription fee. More on that in a sec. So let's start with the biggest updates we're seeing with this new generation of the ring. And we have to start with active heart rate tracking. So this new ring will now monitor your heart rate 24 seven, much like some of the top fitness wearables out there, including the Whoop and the Apple Watch. Now, this was a huge sticking point for the old generation of the ring, which only tracked exercise through movement using their gyroscope. So I am very happy to see that they've made fitness a priority with this new one. And with this new feature, the ring is not just tracking your active heart rate during exercise, but also when you're in a restful state, including things like meditations, naps, and of course, sleep. In order to stay competitive with the fitness wearable space, they needed an update like this. But what I'm most excited to see are the data-driven alerts and insights that come out of this and how tailored their new activity suggestions are gonna be based on my active heart rate for the day. The second big update are the temperature sensors. So no surprise here, the old generation became a household name in the past two years because people started to detect changes in their health by simply tracking their body temperature through the ring. So the company took this information and they freaking ran with it, beefing up these rings with seven new research grade sensors that can apparently detect even the smallest changes to your baseline temperature. And this is a huge update for Aura as it really shows they are branching out of just being a sleep tracker and actually holding a candle to some of the big fitness, health, and wellness wearables out there. And the third update is better accuracy. So the rings come with these improved heart rate sensors that are apparently 99.6% accurate at detecting your heart rate and 98% accurate for HRV. And given all the hoopla around the active heart rate tracking feature, this update certainly doesn't come as a surprise. Now in terms of sleep tracking, the company says that this generation of the ring is enhanced with their new state-of-the-art sleep staging algorithm. So they say it makes it the most accurate consumer sleep tracker in the world. Now I'm still on the fence about how close to an actual sleep lab on your finger. We're gonna see with this thing, since you kind of do need EEG sensors that are measuring your real-time brain activity to do so, but we shall see. Now moving on to a couple of additional updates, and it's important to note that you can now expect to pay $6 a month for their subscription fee. I know, but talk a little bit more about that in a sec. The new ring will also have SpO2 tracking so that you can monitor your blood oxygen levels during sleep, but it's unclear the timeline of when that's actually gonna roll out. It might be as early as 2022 or not. Generation three is also slated to have auto exercise and auto nap detection, which I am very excited for. The old generation sometimes auto tracked my naps depending on how low my heart rate dipped, but it certainly wasn't perfect. So I'm really hoping to see some major improvements on this front and especially curious about how good they're gonna be with that auto detecting of workouts because if they can nail auto activity tracking, that really puts them right up there with Apple Watch and Whoop as a potential fitness contender in this space. Moving on to the things that I didn't see change that I kind of was hoping, and that includes battery life. So it looks like they're still working off a four to seven day battery life model, which is pretty standard. I was personally hoping to see this function improve, but given all the new sensors and the fact that it is still the same size ring, I get that they had to make a trade off somewhere, but just something to note. The other thing I didn't see 
any mention of was their charger. So no new charger listed on their site. And that just kind of lets me think that their old one will still hopefully be compatible with the new ring, but definitely we will stay tuned for that. And in terms of the ring model, it looks like they've done away with the balance look, at least for now. So the new ring looks a lot more like their old heritage style with a flat top design that smooths out at the rings top. And while I am very sad that they did not bring rose gold back, even though I asked them like a million times, the color options that they have still include silver, black, stealth, and gold. And I am sure that a diamond is somewhere in the works, but it's not available just yet. Now, when it comes to shipping, these new rings are expected to start shipping November 15th. If it's anything like their first debut, I wouldn't hold your breath on this date, but my guess is that they already have probably a ton in stock. So if you pre-ordered one on day one, you'll probably get yours before the end of November, but do not hold me accountable to that. <laughs> and finally, we come to price and whether or not to pre-order. So fortunately they kept the base price still the same at 299 USD, but this time, they decided to add a membership fee. And that is going to cost you $6 a month for this added subscription. And what is it for? I have no freaking clue. And it doesn't seem like they've made a strong case on their website for this either. That being said, if you have an old ring and decide to upgrade, it looks like they're gonna waive the first six months of your membership, at least to start. So. There's that. And so then the real question is whether or not to pre-order. And I would say if you just bought the ring in the last year and you're on a tight budget, I would probably hold out. I mean, as a longtime fan of the Aura Ring, I've been wearing this thing almost every single night since January, 2019. And I'll admit, I was even underwhelmed by this new announcement. They've had four years to work on this thing. And yet their biggest update is active heart rate tracking. Now that being said, if you've had the ring for two or more years, like I have, it might be time to update, especially when it comes to battery life. I am going on three whole years with mine. And to be honest, I cannot get more than a full day charge with this thing. So I am really hoping that generation three will be much better on that front. Now, despite being slightly underwhelmed by the announcement, I am still a nerd at heart and I am really excited to test them both out side by side. And so when I get mine, I will be doing a deep dive, going through all my data and sharing with you just how different the two rings are. And hopefully out of that, it'll paint you an even better picture on whether or not now is the time to upgrade. So stay tuned for that review, hopefully at the beginning of the new year or whenever I get my ring. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to catch you on the next one.